smells beautiful. I can't. This is breaking my heart. Get over here, little Thomas. Come here, Thomas. Don't let the angel cry. Here, baby. You want to be with mommy? Look, we're going to be on TV. Hi, Claire. Claire Tansy is here. This is her sweet two-year-old little Thomas. Look, you're on TV. Say, say hi. Hi, everybody. We are going to cook up some upside down chicken pot pie. So, Claire, you are yes. here as a very busy mom. Today's parent, mm -hmm. Chatelaine. And assisting you is Sophie Doria, chef of President's Choice and Kids' Choice, too. We're going to test it, Thomas. Yeah. So, what is this upside down chicken pot pie? I like saying chicken pot pie. Mm -hmm. So do I. It's a great fall recipe. <laughs> it's a twist on a chicken pot pie. That's exactly what it is. And what we're using is we're using one of my favorite PC products. Uh, we're using our PC puff pastry. It's an amazing product. It's just as good as if you were to make it yourself at home. So why take the time to make it if you could just if store bought could be just as good as okay, uh, homemade. Okay, take us through it. Apparently we can all do it because it seems intimidating whenever you're dealing with puff it's pastry. It's not at all. It's very easy. So what you do is there's two that come in a box. You're just going to simply unroll the puff pastry. Okay. You don't even have to get your rolling pin out. Really? Yeah. It's you don't. Unless you, done. unless you want to beat somebody. Uh, you want, or you want to look like you're doing something and impress exactly. guests. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is exhausting. Slaving. slaving. Right? That's exactly it. So, so once we do that. You just unroll it. You're you're gonna, we're going to cut it in four. Okay. That looks delicious, Thomas. Tom, how do you go about deciding what goes into the issues? Because I know this is these recipes are on the uh, Next Issue app. Absolutely. And this is actually, this is a recipe that's in today's parent. So this is a recipe that we have designed for families, busy families. And we know that kids are going to be eating them too. Yeah. So obviously every kid is different. But we thought that doing chicken pot pie a little bit upside down would be a little bit more fun. So we, fun. we've got the pastry on the bottom and then we put the chicken pot pie on the top. Yum. So it's upside down. So gooey, like, gooey, well, you delicious. know, it's upside down, right? How about Thomas? Is Thomas eating this stuff yet? He tests all this stuff. I take all this stuff home from the Chatelaine kitchen Thomas and he approved. eats it all. And, you know, well, some days he eats it and some days <laughs> some he rejects days he... it. We all know how that goes, right? <laughs> and then this here is a little medley of? This is a medley of our PC free from chicken, which is antibiotic free, hormone free. It's a great line yeah. um, for the individual that's trying to be a little bit more health conscious. We've made really an all encompassing meal here. We have a little bit of buttermilk squash in here, some potatoes, some onions, um, and then we also threw in some green peas for some color. So I'm just going to mix it, it up. It looks really delicious. And again, all of the step-by-step -step, um, recipe ingredients will be in today's Parent Magazine. Absolutely. Online, on, you know, wherever you need to find it, it's there for you. And yeah. all of these recipes were triple tested. So you know that they are going to work for you as well Yay. as they do for us. And then you just throw it on top. A good old messy, sloppy, delicious oh, yeah, fall comfort food mess. It's okay. as simple as that, really. So we baked our puff pastry. What do you need, Thomas? Do he, you said, need he said he wanted to go home. Oh, but you I know think he thought it was fun? dinner time. Look what's more fun than being home. You're on TV. Hi. Say hi. So cute. Mm. And then over mm -hmm. here is something super easy, fondue. Who isn't fond of the good old fondue? Exactly. So this is one of the recipes we developed in the Chatelaine magazine. It's more geared towards cocktail entertaining. Uh, we have our PC cheddar cheese here. We mix this with Gruyere. But my favorite part is we use Indian Pale Ale, which is our PC. Um, Who knew PC had a beer? I know. Kind of hidden in the beer store. So you sell it at the beer store? We do. Okay. Yeah. So it's great. Beer is on trend with pairing it with cheese. It's delicious. It works really, really well Yummy. together. You're finding more and more people are doing beer and cheese tasting. So we thought this would be pretty innovative to uh, do a nice fondue with that. It's great for cocktail entertaining. We've paired it with baby potatoes, apples, some Cooked sausage. Cooked baby potatoes. Cooked <laughs> baby potatoes. Yeah, that's, that's right. An important it's stuff. a very important step. Sorry, I'm tasting the food. No, go ahead. It's delicious, by the way. Bread, Ooh. apples. Bread and apples. And you know what? Feel free. Like, if you don't want to do pumpernickel bread or baguette or you want to switch it up, tailor it to your guest needs. It's meant to have fun yeah. with. Uh, so you can do vegetables. You can do... Uh, you know, focaccia if you don't like pumpernickel, so it's really up to you. Perfect. Look it up, like Chad Lane, as well as today's parent, Absolutely. Next Issue app. And for more information, at Prez Choice for the hashtag PC Discoveries or PC.ca to get all of these mm. really easy, ready made yeah. ingredients. Thank you so much. Eat up, Thomas. Do you want some squash? Yeah. How about some apples?